This is Africa in 10 Minutes. I am Uchena Okako. Stay tuned as we bring to you the top business stories reported on Footprint Africa this week. But first, here are the headlines. The Nigerian government reinstates global steel as concessionaire of iron ore plant. Tanzania to invest $30 billion on new gas plant. Kenya Airways Jumbo Jet signed code share partnership agreement. Dangote Sugar Refinery rakes in 11.1 billion naira half year profit. Italy signs pact with Unido and Ilo to help stem irregular migration from Ethiopia. Ghana Shippers Authority rejects terminal handling charge. Mobile technology startups in Africa to benefit from GSMA Accelerator Fund. Central Bank of Kenya cautions against lowering interest rates. Sefa grants Niger $1 million to promote green mini grid. And now the news in detail. The federal government of Nigeria has reinstated Global Steel as a concessionaire of the Nigeria Iron Ore Mining Company after a protracted legal battle. The new agreement for the resuscitation of the plant took place at the, house, at the State House, Abuja, on Monday. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, who presided over the event, urged the parties to stick to the terms of agreement in order to achieve the objective of revamping the Itakwe and Ajokuta companies within the agreed time. In other news, the Minister for Energy and Minerals, Professor Mohongo, revealed on Monday that the government will invest at least $30 billion for the construction of a gas processing plant in Lindi region, Tanzania. He said the project is likely to take many years as it requires huge amounts of money, high-skilled and experienced personnel, as well as good supervision. He also said the government will be required to construct about 200 kilometers of gas pipe from the sea to the plant. Nigeria's largest sugar producer, Dangote Sugar Refinery, has announced a profit before tax of 11.1 billion naira for the six months ended 30 June 2016. The unaudited results for the half year indicated that all performance measurement indices trended upwards. According to the results, profit before tax rose by 13.3% compared to 9.8 billion naira in the same period in 2015. Dangote Sugar is Nigeria's largest producer of household and commercial sugar with 1.44 million tons of refining capacity with the ability to supply most of the country through an extensive network of distributors. In foreign news, at an event hosted by the Embassy of Italy, Ambassador Giuseppe Mistretta signed two grant agreements with the International Labour Organization and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. The agreements are part of the stemming irregular migration from Northern and Central Ethiopia program, which aims to create greater employment and economic opportunities for migrants, potential migrants, refugees and returnees, and in particular for women and youth. The Ghana Shippers Authority and its stakeholders have collectively rejected the proposal terminal handling charges by some shipping lines and operating to and from the seaports of Ghana. A statement signed by the representative of Association of Ghana Industries stated that the government have made efforts to reduce the cost of doing business in the ports through infrastructure investments and trade facilitation measures. This was due to the large number of local charges that shippers have to grapple with before clearing their goods. In tech news, innovative African startups are set to benefit from the recently launched GSME Ecosystem Accelerator Innovation Fund. Its Ecosystem Accelerator Innovation Fund is open to startups operating in Africa and some selected emerging markets in Asia. It is backed by its members and the United Kingdom's Department for International Development. The fund will run several rounds, each with a specific focus between 2016 and 2020. The Central Bank of Kenya has called for a cautious approach to Banking Bill 2015, passed by the National Assembly in third reading last week. The Bank of Last Resort said it will continue to work with the National Assembly 
the government, the banking industry, and other stakeholders to find an appropriate solution that sustainably reduces the cost of credit. In the energy sector, Republic of Niger has been awarded a grant worth nearly a million dollars from the African Development Bank hosted Sustainable Energy Fund for Africa to promote green mini grids and pave the way for private and investment in this sector. The program is also expected to contribute to at least $10 million in funding raised for renewable energy projects by 2018, resulting in the creation of renewable energy sector jobs. To wrap up this week's top story, we'll be back with a recap of the headlines. The Nigerian government reinstates global steel as concessionaire of iron ore plant. Tanzania to invest $30 billion on new gas plant. Kenya Airways Jumbo Jet sign code share partnership agreement. Dangote Sugar Refinery rakes in 11.1 billion naira half year profit. Italy signs pact with Unido and Ilo to help stem irregular migration from Ethiopia. Ghana Shippers Authority rejects terminal handling charge. Mobile technology startups in Africa to benefit from GSMA Accelerator Fund. Central Bank of Kenya cautions against lowering interest rates. Sefa grants Niger $1 million to promote green mini green. To keep up with the trending business news of the week, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and connect with us on LinkedIn. This news and reports are called from the Footprint to Africa. For daily updates and more business news in Africa, visit www.footprinttoafrica.com today. Footprint to Africa, business news made in Africa by Africans.